This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Enormal Prize for a new series we're starting today. Okay, so... Um, we obviously are still going to be playing using the original Homeworld engine, but today we are going to start a new series that I am calling um, Homeworld um, Defense Sphere? Or Sphere Defense. Homeworld Sphere Defense, that's what it was. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're going to do the same thing we were doing in Homeworld Wars. We're going to do a skirmish match, but this time we're going to fight against a hard enemy, and we're going to choose one ship, and we're just going to mass produce that ship, and tell it to defend the mothership, and then that's it. Basically, <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to kind of be an experiment to just see um, um, how many ships would it take. I'm going to put this down a little bit. It's a little bit overkill. How many ships would it take uh, to keep the mothership alive during uh, uh, during a mass invasion? <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I, I just had lunch, so my... My throat is all weird. We're going to start off with a large amount of resources. And in this one, we're just going to do a whole bunch of defenders. So we're going to mass produce defenders, tell them to guard the mothership in sphere formation, and see if the um, if it can hold out against the enemy onslaught. And we're going to put the enemy on hard, because that means they can use hyperspace technology, and they'll actually build heavy cruisers, which they don't build if you have an easy or medium. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get in the game. <clears throat> Dang it, excuse me. So let's start. Alrighty, so we need to do this quickly. <clears throat> and hopefully that doesn't happen too many more times. Uh, oh, yeah, hang on. Um, we can have our uh, speech back. I turned that down for. Uh, um, I turned that down for. Uh, I forgot what the heck it's called for Homeworld Wars. So it didn't. Whoops. Nope, nope, just harvest. You guys guard. Um, so it wouldn't be so annoying whenever people are killing each other. Production underway. Build a bunch of defenders! And I actually want to go down this series and just do every single ship and see if we can actually beat one hard enemy by just mass producing the same ship over and over and having it defend the mothership. So let's keep clicking! Keep clicking! I'm gonna put this up to like 200 for now. Assault frigate retired. Go, go, go! Almost there! So we'll do that for now. Okay, these guys are gonna harvest and get some money. These guys are going to retire. Where are you going? And currently we have this amount, so let's put you guys in sphere, guard the mothership. Now the the only thing I'm going to be doing in this mode is we will be moving the mothership. We'll be moving the mothership up to the enemy. That's it. That's the only commands I'll be giving other than putting these defenders in sphere formation. So at the beginning it's going to be a little bit boring because the enemy hasn't really done anything. I mean obviously the game just started. So they're going to start harvesting their map. It looks like they're already sending something to us. Yeah. Hopefully we don't die too early. I wonder if this Iron Can frigate can't actually retire while we're constantly building things. Hang on. Well, I want to build units as quickly as possible. Go, buddy, go. No, he can't actually retire. Nope, nope, never mind. Forget everything I just said. You just had to wait in line. Okay. Iron Cannon Frigate retired. Wow, we already have 14 defenders built? Holy crap. It's amazing. Spear! Spear formation confirmed. Guard the mothership. Confirmed. Guarding. Oh, and I've also been learning a lot about uh, 3D modeling, um, because I'm eventually going to be making my own uh, 3D models for a movie I want to make. 
but uh, that movie is not going to come out anytime soon because there's a lot of stuff I need to <laughs> I need to learn to make my own ma- animated movie. But I can teach you guys a little bit of it right now. So one reason why Homeworld is able to handle so many ships is because their model I is literally time. just a just a, a wireframe with a texture on top. So like if I zoom into the mothership, this right here is the mothership's wireframe. This is what the whole model, the 3D model is made of. And you just take that, add a texture to it, boom, there's your mothership. And every single one of these ships is like this. I may also have to put these guys on aggressive. I noticed for some reason on the Homeworld 1 remaster, the guard version doesn't work as well as it's supposed to. Um, they're supposed to keep an eye on the enemy, and then when they start attacking, the mothership go all out. But this one, I don't know, for some reason this one doesn't work. So we'll just keep them on aggressive, so they'll attack whenever. Alright, how many do we have now? We have 23, 24. Aggressive. Guard the mothership. We're going to make this sphere whoops, as large as possible. Now the only thing about uh, defenders is they do build really quick. I think next to probes, they are the fastest building ship in the game. And they are actually not that bad. Let's see, five firepower. Oh, well, apparently they're not as good as scouts. But they have a lot of maneuverability, so they'll be great against fighters. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to take down a heavy cruiser, but we'll see. Maybe this assault frigate is uh, going around town for some reason. I should just scuttle them, but I really want the money back from them. Reporting. Is the enemy sending anything in? No, I think they're just building up their harvesting Resource ability. Injection received. I'm probably going to wait until we get maybe around 500 and then start moving in. I think that would be a good amount. We don't have to worry too much about money uh, because uh, <laughs> defenders are very cheap to make. The Ion Can frigates can go in. Alrighty. What are we up to? 33, 34. Doing pretty good. Iron Cannon Frigate retired. One more ship to retire, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, I'm also going to change the music. See something that's a little bit better for the situation. That one's not too bad. That's mission 10. One of my favorite missions in the whole game. I don't know. Things that allow you to play with a bunch of gadgets or a bunch of numbers like this, for some reason fascinates me. For me. And I've never really been able to figure it out. Anything that gets near the mothership, you kill. So, 37 right now. The spear formation isn't really... Ooh. All right, here comes our first group. The enemy is on hard, so they're going to kind of be relentless. Get them, defenders. There you go. You're good against these type of units. Ooh, killed one of mine. No! No, they're actually attacking my defenders. No! Don't be smart. Don't be smart! You're not supposed to kill my defenders! Oh well. I'm just keep this, make sure this number stays up so we continuously build these units. So we lost a few defenders, we're at 38. But that was just a squadron of fighters, which defenders are very good against, so that was an easy win. Iron Cannon Frigate retired. Yay, we don't have to worry about retirement anymore. Sphere formation confirmed. NJ confirmed. Guarding. Whoops. I hit my mic! That's a lot of dust clouds down here. Mm -hmm. 
I still got tons of money. Tons and tons of money. I think the next round I might mix this up a little bit. Turn resource injections, uh, put them a little bit lower and focus more on actually just harvesting. I don't know. That might be a thought. So maybe when we get closer to 100. Eh, let's get closer to 200. I'll feel better if we have 200 defenders protecting the mothership. Assuming spear formation. There we go. 49. Ready for escort. Go, defenders, go. <laughs> defenders are pretty cool. They have a lot of maneuverability and they're basically just rotating. They're just basically just floating turrets. So. They're nice. They also, I think they have the most health of all the fighters. Let's see, 325, 110, 160, yeah. Because again, they're just rotating turrets. The enemy has a lot going on. Looks like they're starting to harvest here. I have no idea how many harvesters he's going to be building. That's kind of why I, I've never actually really played a hard before. So I might just make it to where um, I turn resource injections off. And just have it to where we just harvest. Or, or like I might keep resource injections, just keep it really low. Like turn bounties like on high and maybe put resource injections down to like 500 every... Um, I don't know. I might just play around with it. See what I want to do. But really, we'd like to see if the strategy works. I don't know why I always think of these stupid, stupid uh, strategies every once in a while. Like this is something I used to do as a kid, but I couldn't do it to the extents that we're gonna do in this series because my computer wasn't powerful enough to handle like a hundred fighters flying around at once. Or this one obviously is powerful enough. All right, got a scout coming in. Guys, take care of them. Thank you. Attempting to scout on us. But yeah. I think I might hold here until we get up to 200 defenders. And then we'll start sending the mothership in. I think that will be a good idea. It's pretty cool how fast we're building defenders, though. Like before the defender even gets here, the next one's already built. Up. The enemy hasn't really sent anything big in other than those uh, couple squadrons of fighters. Sixty-eight. Nice Our harvesters are just doing their jobs right now. Just harvesting. Good, good. We almost have this area all harvested. And then they're gonna go to the next area. Go, go, go. Keep making those defenders. Let's see, how's our sphere going now? Uh, it's, it's starting to look good. I mean, it's not near as tight as I want it to be. But it's working pretty good. Now, one of the best things I do like about this game is the for formations work amazingly. Like, for defenders, um, what they'll do is once this area gets completely full, they'll add another row in the middle. And then it'll push everything up, and then you wait till that gets full, and it adds another row in the middle, and it just rinses and repeats. So, like right now, we have one, two, three. Um, let's see, it looks like we have three on the top, and we'll have three on the bottom once this gets full. I think the, the tightest I've ever seen is maybe seven and seven. 
because it's <laughs> it gets it gets pretty ridiculous. All right, now we have three on three, um, seventy-eight, seventy-nine. And I think I've also one time took like three hundred like fighters or cloaked fighters or whatever I built, put them all in a sphere, and the sphere was literally half as big as my mothership. <laughs> Just a giant sphere of ships. Alright, let's see where we're at now. Once all the defenders get in position. And looks like we might have something coming in. Also, in this mode, we will not be repairing the mothership. If the mothership dies, then obviously we lose. But uh, I won't be building any support frigates or anything keeping the mothership alive. Yep, yep, you're dead. You got too close to my... <laughs> sphere of influence. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, there are some fighters. One, two, three, four. I can't tell if that's in the middle. Two, three. Yep, that's in the middle. So we have three and three. Here we have three, and then a middle layer, and then three. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, is the AI actually being smart? So in hard, do they actually come down and attack my harvesters? Okay. And they actually use different formations, too. Wow, so the... The, on the old Homeworld 1, not the remastered um, Homeworld 1, uh, the AI was pretty darn dumb. Um, I know on hard they would actually hyperspace like a group of heavy cruisers and destroyers to your mothership. But they they would automatically already attack target like your resource controllers and stuff. But an easy on this one, they don't. They just completely ignore it. They just go straight to the mothership. Which is why I can do that whole Homeworld Wars uh, skirmish thing because they, they completely ignore the mothership. So just defend the mothership with a couple destroyers and heavy cruisers, uh, repair repair frigates to keep everything alive, and then yeah, you can screw around on it. Ooh, we're almost up to 100. Sphere formation confirmed. Guard the mothership. Everything stay on aggressive. So if they kill these guys, then whatever. I mean, we have 10,000 RUs. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna attack. They look like interceptors. Nope, they're scouts. Alright, yeah. They do do a decent amount of damage against the controller. Well, then again, they are using a um, wall formation, which is a very um, aggressive type of uh, formation. So. Cool. Kill it, I don't care. It's not what I'm here for. All right, so let's see where we're at. We are at 101. We just broke 100 defenders. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to continue Nine building up our defense. We're going to... Yeah, that's fine. Under... I'm going to go ahead and pause this. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and continue building up our um, defenders up to about 200. And we're going to start moving the mothership in. Now in the next episode, the AI is probably going to start building um, stronger units to fight off our uh, um, our defender army. So we'll see how well they stack up against the oncoming enemy onslaught. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing and um, check, out the other, or check out the channel for other homeworld um, content. But until next time guys, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet, Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle.